Hello, good morning children. <clears throat> Today you are welcome to the, the second part of the, the lesson, lesson number 8. Reach for the, the top and this part is Maria Saraprabha. Maria Saraprabha. So my dear children, in the, the initial lecture, so we already told that, so this lesson actually talks about some inspiring character and in the, the earlier lesson we talked about Santos Yadav, how she became an example of inspiration for the people because of her enduring quality, mental toughness and the stamina and particularly for doing doing more work than what is needed. So here also we will come to understand other inspiring life and we will also get ourselves inspired. Therefore without a delay, let us continue with the lesson. Let us start with this lesson presented by KJL. Let us start. Let us go. So my dear children, Maria Sarabhupa was a Russian girl. She was from that particular part of Siberia where there was a lack of lot of things. Particularly that the people did not know the English language and therefore lot of Handicaps, lot of hindrance, obstacles were there. Even then, she overcome all the obstacles and then become the, the number one in the, the world, in the world of tennis. Therefore, we are talking about Maria Sarapova. A Russian girl, Maria Sarapova, reached the summit, summit of the women's tennis when she was barely 18. As you read about her, See if you can draw a comparison between her and Santos Yadav. So dear children, so when you are comparing, then we find out the similar point. Okay, we find the point of similarity. Similarity between, between a character A and another character B. We find the similarity in the in the person similarity. Now, simil in the, the similar manner, when we talk about the contrast, it is a, just the opposite. Means we just two things. We make a comparison of uh, two things, and after that we find out the, the point of difference, varying point, different point. Therefore, here we will come to understand about. How our Maria Sarapova differs from our Santus Yadav. So before that, my dear children, so this is again a warm-up activities, and this activity after doing this activity, we will also know some of the vocabularies, and these vocabularies are uncommon, and therefore it is better that we use our own presumption, we use our own guessing so that we can test ourselves. Therefore, let us go. Here you continue. Something disarming. See that the first one? Something disarming. Let me make the, the table like this. Then it will be quite easier for you to make out. Otherwise, it will be different and difficult. Therefore, let us make the, the table in this manner. It is better that we get, uh, give some Number also three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, eight. Something disarming to which it is similar. So here, here you see eight answers are there. These are these are the, the word and this part is the, the meaning. You see the, the meaning. Try to find it out. Something is there here also. Something is there. That means the answer will be here. That is our assumption or the guessing. And when you know this, a disarming means Frank F R A N K Frank or candidate C A N D I D candidate. Okay. Then it will be quite easier. Something disarming. Something that makes you feel friendly. When a person is very much so frank, very much so free, he speaks out to the heart then you begin to be very close and become friendly. So such is the quality here. Yeah. Number two you see at or sweet. 
Odds means what? Odds means the simple word is obstacle. Therefore, uh, you try to find out the, the word from here. One, two. In contrast to this one will be the this one will be the answer. In contrast to not agreeing. Then you see glamorous attire. Glamorous attire. Glamorous, you know. Attire, you do not know. I suppose. So this attire means what? Dress. Attire means the dress or the apparel. A double P A R E L apparel. Apparel of proclaim a gentleman. So that is the proverb. Hardly the dress make a person gentleman. So that is the apparel. Now uh, 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 see, let us uh, see the answer. So answer part here will be exciting clothes. So this will be the answer. Now let us uh, see the, the next one. In almost no time. In almost no time. In almost no time means no time is spent. Means in a hurry. Quickly. Answer quickly. Next one is the poise beyond her years. Poise beyond her years. Poise means what? Calm. C A L M. Calm. Ekdam shant. Samundar jaise shant hai. Beyond her year. Inka jo umar hua tha. Umar se barke matlab wo kya hai? Coming to the, the next one, more calm. You see this one? Calm is already there. More calm, confident, and in control than people of her own age. Then let us see the, the next one. Supposing, uh, supposing we, uh, we tell he was packed off to England. That means what? He passed some examination competitive exam and therefore she went to England for higher studies that is called packed up means sent off sent off now see loans uh, so what is the, the simple meaning of this word loans okay it is the never you tell loans galat hoga to isko kaise pronounce karna hai l a u n c h hai na ये ऐसा प्रोनाउंस करना है एल सी एच ये ये लॉन्च है लॉन्च मतलब स्टार्टिंग करना है कोई मतलब नया चीज मतलब स्टार्ट करना सपोज एक क्या टूथपेस्ट है और कोलगेट है और सम हेयर ऑयल दैट एक्चुअली हेल्प्स इन द ग्रोथ ऑफ द हेयर इज नाउ लॉन्च इन द मार्केट मींस स्टार्टेड इन द मार्केट फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम Therefore, this allowance will mean what? Start. Start. Now, now see the, the next one. Heart rensing. Heart rens. Rensing mean, means what? Rensing ka matlab hai ki matlab na twisting karna. T W I S T twist. Heart ko agar twist karenge, to kya hoga? Means it is somewhat painful. And the last clue is that. Whatever, whatever is the, the last answer, that will be your answer for this uh, question. Therefore, heart rensing uh, will be causing strong feeling of sadness. Have you got it? Therefore, <clears throat> now my dear children, so we will be starting with the, the lesson. So, we will go to the, the text and, and we will come to understand the magnetic quality of Maria Saraprabha and how she overcome the obstacle that came on the, the way of her life. How the parents, how both of the parents, the mother and the father, were very much uh, helpful in in her pursuit, in her pursuit of life. We will see it. Let us start. Let us go to the first paragraph. Paragraph. Let us continue. As you read, look for the answer to these uh, questions. Why was the Maria sent to the United States? Why didn't her mother go with her? What are her hobbies? What does she likes? What motivates her to keep going? So these are the questions. Based on this, the question will be moving. So there is a question of her departure to the United States of America. That the mother could not go. 
what were the hobbies, what were the likes and dislikes, and what is the particular thing that motivated that motivated the person to reach that goal. So what is that? Therefore, let us continue now. Let us go to the first paragraph. There is a something that disarming about Maria Sarapova, something at wars with her ready smile and glamorous attire. Let us see this pair. So here we continue. So there is a something disarming. Disarming means what? As we have discussed now, something very candid. Hey, something very candid. Candid ka matlab kya hai? Mane free hai. Free. Something, something very much frank. Something very much friendly. Friendly. So there is a something, something very much friendly. So some of the people are there who become friendly just in your in your first look. So such was Maria Sarapova. Maria Sarapova, there was some quality, some trait of the quality that made her faint at first sight or first appearance at first look. Something at what with her ready smile and glamorous at you. Ready smile. So Maria Sarpova, another quality of her was that she was always ready with the smile. So it is a said that my dear children, that when you are smiling, you you are giving a good thing and you are losing nothing. And Maria Sarpova was so, so that the same, and she was constantly, constantly wearing a smile. She was wearing a smile on her face to look her more attractive and to add to her attraction, there was the glamorous dress, the glamorous C L O T H S clothes or dress. There's the that means uh, just like the, the other teenager, she also liked what she liked the fashion, she liked the dancing, she liked the singing. Therefore, she also liked the glamorous type of dresses or apparel. Dresses are A double P A R E L upper, and that is something in her lifted her on on Monday, twenty second, twenty second August two thousand five to the, the world number one position in women's studies. So these are the quality we are talking about: disarming quality, ready smile, and glamorous attire, and. These are some of the, the quality that actually helped him to rise to the position of number one in in 2005 on 22nd August. So what was the occasion? So occasion you know the Wimbledon tennis. All this happened in almost no time. So now see many people are there. there so they rise to the top, they rise to the top, they rise to the top in no time, means they do not take much time. It is all because of what? Their persistence. You know? Your persistence ka meaning kya hai? Persistence. Mane? Continuously, continuously sticking to the sticking. S-T-I-C-K-I-N-G, sticking. So, because of uh, this uh, particular quality, sticking quality in no time means uh, hardly, hardly took, uh, she took uh, four years to rise to the position, to, to rise to the top position in the world. Was beyond her years, was beyond her years. The Siberian Tabon teenager took uh, just uh, four years as a, as a professional to reach the pinnacle. Now see, my dear children, pinnacle means uh, what? S U M M I T. So, in the case of our Santosh Yadav, so we uh, reach the summit. We reach, uh, she reached the, the summit of the Everest. So, in the, the similar manner, in the, the world of tennis also, Maria Sarapova uh, reached to the, the summit or the, the pinnacle, the top top position, top position of the of the particular particular field in that particular field and it took a hardly four years as a profession. Let us see it once again poison beyond her years means compared to her years compared to her age 
she was more calm, more confident, and more dedicated. Means, as far as her age is concerned, a teenager at the age of 18, she was so confident, she was so bold, she was so calm, she was so quiet, she was so candid, she was so friendly that you can hardly imagine. And because of this sterling quality, because of this sterling S T E R L I N G, sterling quality, she got to the, the row, got to the top of the world. Okay, now let us go to the next paragraph. This is the image of our Maria Sarapova. So you can see this is the, the award she won, and because of uh, because of this award, because of this award, she become so famous. Maria Sarapova won the women's single at Wimbledon 2004. So this is the token. Let us continue. Let us come to paragraph number second. How would the rapid ascent in a fiercely competitive world begin nine years before with a level of sacrifice few children would be prepared to endure? So let us see the meaning. Endure means to bear with. To bear with means what? To tolerate. To tolerate. To tolerate. So in this part, my dear children, what we are talking about, you, we are talking about a special quality in Maria Sarapova. What is that quality? Sacrifice. Okay. Sacrifice is what? To lose something. Anna? To let lose something. What is it that she lost? She lost the, the company of the, the of the dear parents. So this is the, the kind of the, the sacrifice and this uh, sacrifice she made how many years uh, back? Nine years back. Nine years back. So we are talking about uh, 18, okay? 18. When uh, she was 18, she went or she was uh, packed up to do two. She was uh, packed up to two, the United States of America. Now, this uh, journey actually started nine years back. Means uh, when she was hardly nine or ten at the time this journey started the journey of sacrifice in order to get something you have to lose something and she also knew it very well and therefore therefore these sacrifices made her more bold not weak let us continue little maria had not yet celebrated her 10th birthday when she was packed up to the train in the united states so in the, the state level when Maria Sarapova showed her talent, then she was selected, she was selected and for this particular particular purpose, she was sent to the United States in order to, in order to enhance, in order to double her skill in the particular field. Therefore, at the time, she was hardly 10, means she was not 10 also and at the time, she went to he went to the United States of America. That a trip to the Florida with her father, Yuri, launched her onto the path to success and stardom. On the path of success and stardom. So you see, the status of the, the star is the stardom. Stardom is the particular status. Particular status or the position status or the position. So uh, here we are introduced uh, to the, the father, the name of the, the father was Yuri. Okay, name of the, the father was Yuri. They went to the, the United States of America. They went uh, to, they, they made their journey to Florida, which was in the, the United States of America with her father Yuri. And this started, this started her onto the, the path of success. This was the starting in which she started her journey towards progress, towards success and towards the stardom. But it also required a heart-wrenching two years separation from, from her mother Elena. So uh, my dear children you see 
So when uh, she rose to the position of the, the stir, she she went to the, the path of success. For this, along with the sacrifice, what is needed is the heart wrenching two years separation from the, the mother. So a child of nine years, you can imagine, she cannot uh, think of being separated from the, the mother, and that is what that is what. A pen with our Maria and she got separated and this separation was heart wrenching means was very much painful very much painful very much painful very much sad very much pathetic very much pathetic plus very much pathetic the latter was compelled to stay back in Siberia because because of these are restrictions the later now let us see this particular sentence it was also required a heart wrenching two year separation from her mother elena so this heart is who it is maria and second one this is the first one and this is the second one second one is the is the, is the mother elena now let us see this particular sentence the later was compelled you see this one what by what you will have to know okay because of the word is power if you do not uh, do not master word then what will happen so you cannot uh, you cannot uh, master okay you cannot uh, master your subject you will have to you will have to master the word first now see this the uh, word l a t a uh, letter letter means late in time late in time okay late in time Suppose, uh, suppose uh, he came, okay, he came later, means if a person came, a person A came at 9.30 and a person came at 9.40, this uh, B, B is the, the person who came later and for this uh, B we will be talking about L-A-T-T-E-R, the later came late, have you got it? Okay. That means here we are talking about uh, the, the later person means uh, the mother of mother of Maria Sarapova. She was uh, compelled to stay back. Why she was why the mother of Maria Sarapova was compelled to stay back in Siberia because of visa restriction. Means there were some restriction. There were some restriction of the visa. Restriction ka matlab kya hai? Restriction ka matlab hai some limitation. Some limitation. Some compulsions. Some compulsions were there in the, the case of the visa. Visa means the permit. Visa means the permit, international permit to visit a particular place is the visa. The nine-year-old girl had already learned an important lesson in life that tennis excellence would only come at a price. Now this is a very small girl. This is a very small girl. She learned a very important lesson of life. And this important lesson of life is that the tennis lesson, the tennis lesson comes only when you pay some price, only when you give something, only when you sacrifice something, then only you get to the better position in the world of tennis. Therefore, now let us go to the next paragraph, paragraph number three. I used to be so lonely, Maria Sarapova records. I missed my mother terribly. My father was working as much as he could to keep my tennis train going. So he couldn't see me either. So now, my dear children, in this particular paragraph, we see the kind of recollection. Re Collection, recollection. Recollection ka meaning kya hai? Recollection means you are remembering something, something of the, the past. Therefore, when she was interviewed, then Maripa, Maria Saripa, Sarapova said, so the, the probable question that was asked in the, the interview was, what was the, the initial feeling when he went, uh, when you went to Florida, the United States of America in the United States of America. Then Maria Sarapova told, So you know, 
I felt very much lonely when I went there at the age of barely or hardly 10 years. So why I felt lonely? Because my mother was not there. Why my mother not went with me? My mother did not go with me because of the res visa restriction. And as a result what happened? I missed my mother greatly. And my father also, you see the condition of my father also. My father was the only, only great earner of the, the family and he had to do work. He had to do work so that my tennis training continues or my tennis training goes on. Therefore, because of his work, he also could not visit me very frequently. Have you got it? Number next, paragraph number next, four. Let us continue. Because I was so young, I used to go to bed at 8 p.m. Then the other Chinese people would come in at 11 p.m. and wake me up and order me to tidy out of the room and clean it. So what is the kind of the feeling? What do you feel about this particular situation? So Maria Sarpova, as she was so young, Compared to her, others were little older. Other others were little older in in age. As she was so young, she went to the bed at 8 p.m. 8 at night. Then what happened? So others, others, others kept awake. Okay, others kept awake. Up to maybe 11.30 or 11. And then at 11 o'clock, they came and wake, wake her up and order her to clean the, the room. To clean the, clean the room. How horrible it is, you just imagine. So, a uh, majority of the, the children would have simply compl complained to the, the authority or maybe to the, the parents. But she knew what she wanted and therefore she also knew how she need to sacrifice. Therefore, because of this particular quality in her, she rose to the top position. Therefore, she knew it very well. Then let us continue. Paragraph number 5. Instead of letting that depress me, I became more quietly determined and mentally tough. Let us see, my dear children, this is the difference that you can notice with the common common children and our Maria Sarapova. So, Maria Sarapova, what she had, her attitude towards life was different. Her attitude was totally different. Why? Why should, uh, Normally, you will see that the sorrows, as you are, O W sorrows, sorrows in life. What it does? It depress a people. It depress people. Means it, it actually make a people disappointed. Okay, hamara paad. Itna dukhe hai. Okay, it is unbearable. I cannot control. Okay, so on and so much. So in this way, just they go on murmuring. They go on complaining about their position or condition. But Maria Sarapova did what? From the negative. From the, the negative, she she derived the positive. From the, the negative, she could extract, she could extract what the positive. So, this the particular situation made her more tough, more tough mentally. It made her more tough and she quietly determined and become mentally tough. This particular, particular situation, situation did not allow her to depress her. Instead of letting that depress me, okay, instead of allowing me to depress because of this particular situation of cleaning the room at 11 or 11.30 when she was sleeping and making her awoke and let the room be swept or clean, 
so she it did not depress her so on the contrary or on the opposite what happened she become mentally tough and she determined she made up her mind usne kuch aisa matlab kuch decision liya tha kya decision liya tha ki humko aur kuch zyada mentally tough hona padega and i will have to bear with it and this she decided quietly very calmly without the knowledge of anybody very silently i never thought of quitting because i knew what i wanted okay so ye quit ka meaning kya hai you you it this coming from quit original word the root word is quit quit ka matlab hai chhod dena give up hai na chhod dena or give up karna tag karna so i never thought of quitting so why she did not uh, think of quitting the, the particular position particular position of the, the train because she knew what was her objective or goal and because of her that she become more tough more tough mentally when you come from nothing and you have nothing then it makes you very hungry and determined very very interesting line my dear children सो so, जब आपका बैकग्राउंड जो है उसमें कुछ है नहीं मतलब बैकग्राउंड में बहुत मतलब गरीबी है बहुत मतलब स्कैर सिटी है और आप जानते हैं कि आप मतलब एंड यू हैव नथिंग टू लूज आल्सो देयरफॉर देयरफॉर दैट मेक्स यू वेरी हंगरी दैट मेक्स यू वेरी हंगरी भूखी बनाते हैं मीन्स यू बिकम वेरी मच हंगरी यू बिकम वेरी मच थर्स्टी एंड यू बिकम वेरी मच डिटर्मिंड what is that so when you know that i have nothing i started from zero and therefore i should be i should be more determined i should be more determined and there is a hunger in us but you dekho so uh, when when we feel hungry then we then we take our take our food if we are not hungry even if we feel tired then we will suffer from some diseases therefore what was the hunger the hunger was a her background and background to was actually background to was very poor background out have put up with much more humiliation and insult than that to stick fastly pursue my dream now this is the opinion of maria sarapova what maria sarapova told i would have to do put up with ye dekhiye iska meaning alag se likhna hoga put up with matlab t t for to lard it b for bear with bear with humiliation means what insult humiliation means what insult disrespect 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 so she decided that in future there may be more more kind of disrespect or insult and what i will have to do do i will have to bear with it i will have to have the capacity i will, I will have to have the resilience in me so that i could bear with i could tolerate i could withstand all those insults and humiliation therefore in this way she was prepared for what is going to do come in the next that means so whatever may be the kind of the insult she is totally unbothered and what she will do she will continue with her work in order to reach her objective or destination therefore let us go to paragraph number next paragraph number 6 the toughness runs through maria even today close to the key to her begging to the women's single crown at wimbledon in 2004 and to her meteoric rise to the, the world number one spot the following year so let us see now once again we are talking about the mental quality of maria sarapova so the, the first one is toughness so toughness is a noun mental toughness toughness means very much hard very much hard very much rigid r i g i d rigid वेरी एस फर्म मतलब बहुत स्ट्रॉन्ग है मेंटली आपको बहुत स्ट्रॉन्ग होना पड़ेगा 
and that mental stiffness or or mental strictness or rigidity continued continued till today also and because of this what happened she saw the face of the success and in the year 2004 at wimbledon in that year she was she backed what the women's single crown she backed the women's single crown and in the, the next year she rose to the top so meteoric means uh, what this is coming from m e t e o r mature coming from the, the mature okay mature so <clears throat> mature actually uh, related to the, the speed therefore the meaning of uh, this one will be rapid let us see and to her meteoric rise means rapid rise rapid rise or ascent a s c e n d this to the, the world number one spot in the following year means following year means which year 2005 in the, the year 2005 she rose to do the, the world number one in the terms therefore she started the, the journey journey of the, the success and she could uh, realize her dream in this uh, manner because the awards and prizes were coming on her way very frequently then let us uh, come to the next paragraph paragraph number 7 here you go let us continue paragraph number 7 while her journey from the, the frozen plains of siberia to the, the summit of the, the women's tennis has touch to the heart of tens fans for the youngest herself there is appear to be no room for sentiment now see this is another quality that is needed in human being so when you are rising to the, the position of the, the position of the, the top top position at the time at a time so we can learn some beautiful example from our maria sarapova maria sarapova after reaching to the top or the peak of the, the world in the, the field of the, the tennis so when she was asked about her feeling then she said that even though i rose to the, the top position then there appears to be no room for sentiment then there is no room room ka matlab kya hai space स्पेस का मतलब क्या है स्कोप एस सी ओ पी स्कोप है ना देर इज नो फैसिलिटी फॉर सेंटीमेंट मीन्स आई डो नॉट लाइक टू एक्सप्रेस माई हैप्पीनेस ओके आई डो नॉट वॉन्ट टू एक्सप्रेस एक्सप्रेस माई एक्साइटमेंट एक्साइटमेंट एट द सक्सेस बिकॉज बिकॉज वेन यू आर हैप्पी वेन यू बिकम हैप्पी दे आर योर जर्नी स्टॉप्स your journey stops at the end when you are very much complacent okay complacent ye yeah, word bahut sahi hai complacent complacent when you are self satisfied that yes i have achieved it therefore i i need to nothing then what will happen there there will be the end your end of your success map the straight look and the answers she gave when asked about her ambition make it amply clear that she considered that the sacrifices were worth it let us see it now as i told you earlier so when she was interviewed then when she was interviewed when she rose to the top of the world in the wimbledon after that the television the new channel and the other king asked the question what was the kind of the feeling okay and then she did not give any twisted question answer so the answers were well. answers were very much straight forward okay they they were very much so straight answers were very much so straight and the answer she gave which asked about her ambition make it amply clear that she considered that the sacrifice were worth so when when she was talked about her ambition ambition ka matlab kya hai ambition ka matlab hai aim okay ambition high aim high prospect in the life then she was telling that so what i will tell about my ambition 
so i have achieved and i have achieved this all because of my labor it is all because of my sacrifices it is all because of my hard work means in order to reach the rich success there is no option to the sacrifice only through sacrifices one can reach the objective reach the goal i am very competitive i i work hard at what i do it is my job and this is a her mantra for success so finally so to the, the interviewer maria sara prabha gives her mantra so this is our indian word mantra mantra means what chanting words c h a n t i n g chanting words matlab jo word hum ek sath matlab bahut word matlab na memorization se jo bolte hain usko matlab kya bolte hain mantra bolte hain therefore so she was telling that the mantra or the key the key of the, the success is what the hard work i am very much competitive the first thing is that one should be very much competitive not with others but with oneself so fight fight with the weakness inside you and then then you become strong so there is a, that is the kind of the, the kind of the attitude she had and then she said that i work very hard whatever work i do i work very hard means i know that hard work hard work the hard work really pays it is my job and this is her mantra of success therefore she was uh, answering the debt to the hard work and the sacrifice are the mantras of the success so you will be asked the question what according to the maria sarabha are the, the mantras of success then you will be telling only two words in the, the sentence the mantra for success akama according to the maria sarabha are the sacrifices one make and the hard work that one does then let us go to the next paragraph paragraph number 8 here you go the maria sarabha speaks a with a pron pronounced american accent she proudly parades her russian nationality clearing all doubt she says i am russian it is a true that the us is a big part of my life but i have a russian citizenship my blood is totally russian i will play for the olympic for russian if they want me so after 2005 maria sarapova got the citizenship of the us she became the citizenship of the us that means she had the dual citizenship both of the, the usa and the ussr means russia and this the particular paragraph talks about what what particular quality it talks about it talks about a heart talks about a heart patriotism patriotism so she was a she was a national she was a national of russia means she was a russian national a person from russia and after this after this success she became the, the citizen of the, the usa and initially she did not know how to speak english and after after staying in america she learned english that to into the american accent accent means what the way of speaking okay the way of speaking say for example we tell schedule american will tell schedule so like that this is the accent american accent the way of uttering the words she proudly parades parades ka matlab kya hai displays display means exhibit hai na x e exhibit she displays a what her russian nationality she tells that if if somebody asks me now if from the, the russian or from russian russian president or from the, the russian uh, uh, president if she is asked to the join russia in the, the olympic in the, the next olympics she will certainly play for that country because because this is 
This is the country she was she was originated from. Therefore, this shows that even though the America was a greater part of her life, yet she was by birth a Russian. Therefore, she was true Russian, and therefore, if a need to be by being the American national also, she will try to play for Russian nation only. Now let us come to paragraph number 9. Here we move. Let us continue. Paragraph number 9. So we have understood now that we have seen the birth, we have seen the parentage, we have seen her journey, her training, rising to the top position and then we will learn something about her hobbies, about her likes and dislikes. So in order to learn that, let us go to paragraph number 9. Here we go. Like any number of artists, sensation, Maria Sarapova, lists a fashion, singing and dancing has her hobbies. So what is her hobby? H O B -B -B. People may have a single hobby, people may have hobbies. So the co collecting of the currencies of different countries, that may be one hobby. Gardening may be one hobby or photographing may be one hobby. So in this uh, manner, on the basis of the, the latest trend, the hobby also undergoes changes. Therefore, when she was interviewed about her hobby, then she was telling that she was also not exception to the, the other teenage girl of her own age as far as her Hobbies are concerned. So, what were those? What were those hobbies? The hobbies were the fashion. Means, means she liked fashion designing, or she liked trendy dresses, gorgeous dresses. She liked the, the singing. She liked dancing, and these were the part of the hobbies. She loves reading the, the novel of Arthur Conan Daly. Her fondness for sophisticated evening girls appears and oh, with uh, her love for pancakes with a with, uh, chocolate spread and Fiji orange drinks. So she also continues in the, the same tune that she liked the book of book of the, the famous writer Arthur Conan Daly, who writes on the practical practical knowledge or practical philosophy. She, she reads the book and she likes the book of Arthur Conan Daly. Her fondness for the sophisticated evening grounds appear at all with her love for pancakes and chocolates, spread and fridge orange drinks. So when, uh, when you see that she liked the, the pancakes, with the chocolates spread over it and the aerated orange drink, which are very simple, that actually does not synchronize, that actually does not tally, that, that really not to fit with her sophisticated evening gowns. Means she was wearing the sophisticated gowns in the evening time that were that were in contrast to her way of the, the drink and food. Then let us come to next paragraph, paragraph number 10. Let us continue. Here we go. Maria Sarapova cannot be pigeonholed or categorized. Her talent, unwavering desire to succeed and readiness to sacrifice have lifted her to the, the top of the, the world. Now see my dear children, this is the, the end of the, the lesson. This is paragraph number 10. And as usual, in the, the last paragraph, what is done? It is the summary. Summary of the, the lesson is done. So now, once again, the, the writer will be telling the main mantra of her success. The main key, the main key of the, the success. 
so what is it that so that means uh, now we'll be summing up we'll be summing up the qualities in the, the head and heart of our talent our tennis sensation maria sarapova what are those qualities so first let us uh, see the first line maria sarapova cannot be pigeon hold or classified or categorized that means you cannot uh, give a special class or you cannot uh, cannot cannot limit him in a particular class or or species her talent unwavering desire to succeed and readiness to sacrifice have lifted her to the top of the world so these are the, the qualities what are the qualities the readiness to sacrifice means at any moment she is ready to sacrifice and unwavering desire unwavering means what that is not fluctuating f l e u c t u a t i n g means means what that is a, that is a fixed not fluctuating means what fixed her fixed desire to succeed means she has she has the desire to succeed and this desire is very much so fixed it never wavers it never shakes or it never goes away from her mind and she is having she is having the, the talent the desire and the, the readiness to sacrifice and all this qualities lift at her to the, the position top position of the, the world few would grasp her the riches she is now reaping grasp means what grudge g r let us see it g r u d g e grudge grudge ka matlab hai simple meaning nb nb jante hai na nb matlab irsha karna irsha karna matlab trying to be in the position of father hai na ek ke bacha jo hai suppose ek bacha ne last year cbse mein top kiya tha ha mera bhi ek aisa matlab man hai i also envy him or her means i also to be in the, the position of his or her i envy his or her that is the grudge few would to grudge her means a few would envy her means there will be less number of people who will who will be jealous who will be jealous who will be envious of what she is now what she is now or she what she possesses now this is a this is a what she has to say about her monetary gains for the tennis monetary gains for the tennis now she has a lot of riches lot of riches are the property she has now lot of property after becoming the world number 1 in the in the world of tennis and when she was interviewed about the riches or the property while she was talked about the money then what she said she has to say that of course money is a motivation she was telling that yes of course money actually motivated me money inspired me money boosted me money give me lot of inspiration inspiration to go to that but what i loved i loved the tennis tennis was my business tennis was my prayer and tennis was my work therefore she was telling tennis is a business and a sport but the most important thing is to become the number one in the world now she was telling that yes of course tennis was my business tennis was a sport but to become the number one to keep that desire into the mind that was something extraordinary that was something extraordinary that cannot be compared that cannot be related or likened with that of money that you are talking about that is the, the dream that kept me going so now what was uh, what what was the, the dream the dream was to become the number one then that the dream was the particular motivating force particular driving force that drives her to to the forward drives her to the to her goal 
to our destination, to our objective, to our success in simple terms. So my dear children, I suppose that you understood the lesson. This is the end of the lesson. Now, we will take less time and we will go to some of the analysis of the lesson. Therefore, let us go to the analysis. So now, we will be discussing about the, the, the title, the introduction and some of the, the questions in short. So, here you go. Let us continue. Okay, my dear children, we are coming to do the critical analysis of this lesson. We have already discussed the lesson. I suppose you have understood the lesson, the word meaning, the, the indirect meaning, the, the direct meaning, all the, the tricks and the, the tips, all this you have understood about Maria Saraprova and also you have learned some of the, the key word and the, the mantras of the, the success that rose, that rose Maria to the, the top position in the, the world of now we will go to the analysis of this lesson in a critical manner. Here, here we go to the critical analysis. So this is my dear children is the, the image, the image of the star. This is the, the image of the, the star. So you see this is the, the image of Maria Sarabu. So you can uh, see the award that was uh, given to do her. She is now picking it off. Now, this another image of Maria Sarabhuba. So, first we will be going to the, the title now, as we have changed the, the technique of the explanation. So, after the, the lesson is over, we will go to the, the title now. We will see how far the title is appropriate here. Therefore, let us uh, go to the title. A uh, reach for the, the top is very appropriate title for the account of Maria Sarapova's journey. When at the age of nine, she comes from the, the frozen plains of Siberia to USA with her father to train in tennis too, achieving the, the world number one position in women tennis. In one line, the title is explained in a beautiful manner. So the title is uh, a very much uh, appropriate or eight. It is a due to due to the journey because it talks about the, the journey of Maria Saraprova at the very young age of nine. Even though she came from the, the frozen plains of Siberia, she went to the, the US at this that, that is into the company of the, the father and then had the, the training and within uh, four years uh, time she rose to the position of the world number one. Therefore, as this lesson talks about the journey to the success by Maria Saraprova, therefore, this title, reaching for the top, this title, Maria Saraprova is correct. The top symbolizes the highest point reached by Maria Saraprova. She reached the top by the dint of her earnest effort and diligent work, diligent work. Does the, the title is eight in that it salutes the courage and strong willpower of this young tennis star who overcome all her chiefs and abstractions to reach the, the top. This lesson actually salutes words, salutes the, the courage and the, the strong willpower in a small girl who overcome all the obstacles and, and all the hardship difficulties that came on the way of her success journey. Therefore, this is the title and the title is very much appropriate. Now, let us go to the introduction to the lesson. So, here you go. Let us go for the introduction. A rich part of the top is about the world-renowned tennis player Maria Sarapova's rise to the top in the, the world of tennis, the secret behind her phenomenal rise lies in the, the hard struggle and the, the human sacrifice made by her and her parents. Born in Siberia, Russia in 1987, Maria Sarapova led to a charge of Russian players who came to achieve great success in the women's game. Her humble background 
and her temporary loneliness made her mentally tough and more determined. So you see this one. Even though her background was very much humble, that the background, humble background, and the temporary separation or isolation, loneliness made her mentally tough and more determined to achieve that feat, to achieve that particular particular difficult task of becoming the number one in the world in the field of tennis. This a mental strain coupled with the competitive nature, hard work and the sacrifices won her the number one position in the world in women's tennis. Maria has also brought her own brand of glamour to tennis by designing her own unique tennis outfit. So, Maria also brought a particular brand, brought a new brand that was unknown to the world of tennis just by designing her own unique dress, her unique tennis dress. Therefore, now let us continue. So, here you go, let us continue. So, now it is time for summarizing. Let us make a review of the summary. So, we will make the review of the summary just through the main points. Therefore, here we go. Let us continue. Let us continue. Maria Sarapopa's number one position in the world tennis. Maria Sarapopa's number one position in the world tennis. Maria's trip to the US. The next one, Maria's mental toughness. Maria become number one in the world. Maria become number one in the world. Her mantra for success. Maria on her Russian roots, Russian nationalities. Sarapova's hobby, Sarapova's thoughts on tennis, etc. Therefore, I suppose my dear children, you understood the highlight of this lesson too. And this is the time we go to the some of the questions and answer answer to the question. And you know this uh, question also may come. Give a brief character portrait of Maria Saraprova. So many of the, the qualities so we have already discussed: her tenacity, obstinacy, her calm attitude, composed attitude, attractive smile glamorous attire and her readiness for the, the humiliation and the, the torment all this made her very great therefore now let us come to the last part some questions we will be discussing only two questions first question you see first we'll be talking about maria sarvapa and then we'll be talking about the personality personality contrast maria sarvapa and santosh yadav let us see, briefly describe Maria Sarapova. Maria Sarapova is a famous woman tennis player, won the women's single at Wimbledon in 2004 and attained the world number one position in the women's tennis in 2005. Though Russian by birth, she got tennis training in the United States of America. She loves singing, dancing, reading novel and is very hard working and dedicated tennis player. So this is all about our Maria Sarah. Now we will see the character contrast or the personality contrast. Let us see the, the contrast. How is the Maria's personality is a mix of contrast. So we are talking about some of the contrasting quality in a person. So there are some of the, the quality, some of the, the quality that become contrast with herself, with the, some of the, the quality in herself. The maturity, balanced mind and the inner strength of Maria does not appear to be in accordance with her glamorous dress and charming manner and ready smile. This is both important. So the kind of maturity, the kind of maturity that she, that she showed, the kind of balance, cool, the poised nature, P-O-I-S, poised nature that she showed, the inner strength, the mental toughness that Maria does not appear to be in accordance with, does not tally with, does not tally with the word 
her glamorous dress or attire and her disarming manner or charming manner, friendly manner and ready smile. There seems to be some mismatch between her sophisticated and outer appearance and her balanced inner self. Therefore, when we see the balanced inner self, the inner person and the, the outer person, in the, the outer person we can uh, we can see a sophisticated girl who likes the gorgeous dresses, particularly the evening gowns and mentally she is so balanced, so confident, so tough and this uh, quality, so inner and the, the outer quality not to, not to seem to tell it not to seem to retaliate, they seem to clash, they seem to clash or they seem to contradict, they seem to fight each other. Alright? My dear children, I suppose you understood. Therefore, this is the time for closing the session. We will meet you again in the next lesson. Till then, you will prepare yourself well and you will uh, write the question answer, the vocabulary, and you learn your lesson to be prepared for life. With that mass, let me conclude. Thanks to all.